Hi, welcome back to another monster movie every day for October 2022. For the 26th of October, we have Abbott and Costello meet the Invisible Man from 1951 from this set on Blu-ray. All right, so one thing I liked right off the bat about this movie is that it is a quote-unquote true sequel to the actual Invisible Man in that the formula that John Griffin created um, he willed to the doctor that's in this movie. So it wasn't just another doctor making up the formula from nothing. It's actually builds on what came before and talks about how the invisibility formula will make you go insane and that it did come from somewhere. So I actually like that, even though it, it, it does have the the silliness, but it the invisible part of it actually is is more serious. All right, and I realized why... I have images of these guys as cats in my head because there was some short Warner Brothers films um, starring Babbitt and Cat Stello. So that, that's where I got it from. So it starts out with Abbott and Costello graduating from a like a private investigator academy. All right, so of course he tells him that he needs to look less subtle. Meanwhile, he's wearing this. <laughs> this so it's like hey, you guys both do not look subtle at all so they get their first client and it's this guy and the radio is basically describing him exactly as a recent murderer and then uh you got costello breaking the fourth wall constantly in this movie looking looking at the camera so this guy's on the run from the law aka george from i love lucy and he ends up giving himself the invisibility shot even though the doctor warns him that it will make him go crazy just like it did the other guy and since he brought up the other guy, it kind of ties the movies together in an actual sequel. Fred from I Love Lucy, not George. Fred and Ethel. Fred's in here. It was exciting to see him. And here he is. He kind of seems like he plays the same guy, not going to lie. He just We see his home life in I Love Lucy, and this is his work life here. All right, and then we have our first invisibility time. So he turns visible and... Freaks out, Costello. <laughs> and of course, people always like to laugh when they turn invisible. Teeth last. All right, so I'm reviewing this on Blu-ray, and the, as far as the Blu-ray quality goes, it's okay. There's, there's a lot of specks and scratches on here. Uh, and the sound and the sound was okay, so it, it's it's definitely watchable. It's definitely way better than DVD, uh, but it, it's not as clean of a transfer. So you see little specks and then little vertical scratches. All right, this this guy actually kind of took me out of the movie. This guy, this doctor who's trying to figure out why this guy's saying he's seeing invisible stuff. Um, I actually thought he was so bad. I know he's just like an extra bit part, but he was so bad. It's like how do you phone in? being a bit character so anyway that actually took me out of the movie this doctor was really bad all right so then then uh costello does a pretty awesome gag uh, with some money 500 a day and gave me that'll teach you to be honest someday you're right <laughs> you see that and then he looks right at the camera no you don't no you don't so anyway this this goes on i'll break both of your arms Anyway, that goes on, and it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was really good. But I, I can't show the whole thing here for because they'll get me. So they're trying to help this guy to prove his innocence, the invisible guy who they thought was a murderer. But uh, this movie, I believe, uses some recycled footage from the original Invisible Man, so or one of them, because look, look at this part. And he's getting the clothes out of the suitcase. Pretty sure they just took that right from another movie. So then this movie turns into a boxing movie where you've got the the boxer guy who is the invisible man wants to fight this guy and prove his innocence. Um, so then he is going to be a boxer with the invisible man actually boxing for him. And then, of course, we get lots of invisible man shenanigans throughout with uh, Abbott and Costello being silly. Um, but other than that, like, it's like the main characters are being silly or being serious, and then Abbott and Costello are... Uh, 
Oh, there you go. For good or for evil. Okay, so it's like all the the main characters in the main story are being serious, and then Abbott and Costello are just being silly. So if you just heard that, he is starting to get his feeling of power for good or evil, and that's one of the parts of like insanity that comes with being invisible. So she's she's sad because she didn't want him to go invisible. Okay. Coming up here is one of the biggest film scratches that I've seen in any of these movies so far. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like right here. So just watch for some, for some vertical lines right here. What did you say the night? See them. I think she's getting ready. Yeah, there they are. See those scratches? And of course, this lady's trying to uh, convince him to take a fall during the boxing match to make the other guy win. All right, then the climactic boxing match, and uh, this these guys actually do a really good job of fighting each other with an invisible man in there. Uh, but look at look at how he dances around the ring with this. <laughs> All right, then we get the the uh, climax where Tommy makes the guy confess, and uh, you see him in the in the mist here. He's gonna get knifed. Oh no, this one man knife. Hold on to that. Alright, so uh Costello's giving Tommy a transfusion, and for the first time, I believe, in these movies ever, uh they mention that he has the same blood type to be able to do this. Um but of course here's the cool uh reappearing scene. Always looks cool. You can just see the blood first. And start to see more stuff. There's some muscle. And there he is. Uh oh. And then he goes invisible because of some backed up blood in the transfusion. My hand is gone. And uh, some very, very inappropriate thing happens that would not fly in a movie nowadays. So he's naked, and he gets in this elevator with all these nurses. And look at this. So yeah, that 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 does not <laughs> not fly nowadays. Him just kissing random ladies. Well, he's naked and invisible, and he's the good guy. Usually, the bad guy does that. Uh, but then when he comes back visible. His, uh, his feet are on backwards, and this is how it ends. Look at this. That's just like you. You get everything backwards. Come on. Okay, so that has, this has been your October 26th review for Monster Movie Every Day for October 2022. Uh, so for the, is it the 27th next? Yep, so for October 27th, we have The Creature from the Black Lagoon on 4K Blu-ray. From this set right here, right there in the bottom. Ah, hard to hold. Right there. Creature from the Black Lagoon on 4K. So that is going to be uh, October 27th. All right, so Creature from the Black Lagoon for October 27th. That is uh, from 1954. 1954, which is one of my favorite years for movies. So... Uh, let me know what you thought of this. The uh, Abbott and Costello meet Invisible Man, but uh, this one's probably on the lower end of the 30 movies. Not not one of the best. It has some fun Invisible Man shenanigans and Abbott and Costello shenanigans, but uh, not not my favorite. So there it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought, and I appreciate uh, liking and commenting and subscribing and all the things. Okay, thanks. Bye.